Welcome everybody. Welcome to today's video. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, Joe Biden, Joe Biden's uh, chart. I think uh, after uh, my last video about uh, Trump, I think it's worth also uh, looking at uh, Biden's. Before I start, I would like to make very clear that uh, this video uh, doesn't intend to um, support anybody in the race, uh, Biden or Trump. We are here exclusively looking at their uh, charts and seeing what the astrology is telling us about their life, about their charts. This helps us to, okay, see where uh, things could end up. Perhaps uh, astrology is never... Um, definite about anything. Uh, we always have a free will and uh, it all depends on how both candidates also exert their free will and how they channel uh, the energies that will be at play over the next few months. So um, with that said, uh, we can analyze what energies are going to be on them, putting pressure on them and because those are the planets, those are the transits, and that's also what happens to us every day, uh, depending on where the transits are. They, these are putting some pressures on our life. Then it depends on us to make the right choices to express these energies, these pressures in a correct way in our life. If we don't, then life takes care of it in the sense that it creates situations which are more difficult for us. And in this case, maybe more difficult for Joe Biden or Trump, uh, whoever we are analyzing. And uh, by creating that more, more pressure, life is trying to send the message of, hey, correct the course, change course, do something different. OK, so I wanted to, to clarify that uh, just so that we understand the context of this analysis. OK. So uh, with that said, let's look at Joe Biden's chart. Here is Joe Biden's chart. Uh, he was born 20th, 20th of November 1942 at 8.30 a.m. in Scranton. Um, what we see here is in many ways very similar to what we saw in um, Trump's chart. We see many planets in the 12th house. Again, when we see this, this is showing uh, that the native, the person that has this chart, has to dedicate his or her life to the collective. And this is because the 12th house is the house of Pisces, is where we dissolve ourselves. So by doing things for the collective, we don't do things for ourselves, we do things for others. And that's how it should be in theory, whether... Uh, every politician does that. I leave it up to you to decide. But that's the theory, at least. And that's what the universe wants us to align with when we have such a configuration. So uh, dedicating our lives to the collective is very common when we have many planets in the 12th. Also, a retreat or um, isolation uh, is also very recommended when you have many planets in the 12th. Because that's another way to go in deep inside, do introspection, and through the introspection, connect to the divine within us. And when we, when we connect to the divine, we are also one with everything. So the objective is to be one with everything, uh, whether through retreats, meditation, um, uh, uh, self-knowledge, um, and all that, or through uh, politics and working for the collective, uh, also uh, acting or singing, uh, where we are expressing ideas uh, and messages of the collective. So here we see Biden, very strong 12th house, uh, very much a life dedicated to the collective. And that has uh, worked well for him um, until now, at least. Um, so Let's see what's going to happen then in the next uh, few months. So if we look at, um, let's start with the uh, progressions. So progressions is a method where the moon 
moves about um, a degree a month. So the moon moves very small. It's a predictive technique. And we see that, uh, let me set it for the day of the, um, of the election, which will be the 5th of November, 2024. And we see that the progressed moon will be on Joe Biden's moon, pretty much. I mean, two months, from two months before. So from September already, 2024, the moon will be on Joe Biden's moon. So there'll be a lot of focus here on, on his moon. So that means his emotions, his home, his feelings, his subconscious, his unconscious, his sense of belonging. All these things will be under scrutiny. Also, his moon is in his sixth house, which means that his sixth house is to do with health. So when uh, the sixth house is in focus, his health could be in focus too. And we know that, mm, he does, at least on TV, to me, he doesn't look like he's top of his form, uh, but um, he may say differently, uh, but there's going to be some focus there, especially from September, his health is in focus and his feelings and emotions are going to play an important role in his health. You know, when we when we um, sort of uh, uh, accumulate emotions and don't let go of emotions, then these can take a toll on our health. So it's very important to let go of emotions, but it's not always easy as we, as we know. And this is gonna be a time when this is gonna be in focus. So with that said, we know that the moon also rules the eighth house, the eighth house, because uh, here he has cancer and the moon rules the sign of cancer always. So the moon rules Joe Biden's eighth house, which is the house of death and rebirth. Doesn't mean he's going to die. He could, like everybody, uh, but he's 81. Um, and uh, he could also have some health challenges or he may need to do some big transformation. He may need to change things in his life uh, with some focus on the moon. So there could be some crisis because the eighth house is a house of crisis. So some crisis coming um, from around September 24 onwards. Now let's look at the transits because this is going to get, this is where it gets really interesting. We look at the transits and if we set the transits as well for the date of the election, so 5th of November, here we go, there we go. Um, we see, uh, no, uh, that's 5th of October, uh, 5th of November, there we go. So we see that, um, Sat, uh, sorry, uh, Pluto is going to be 29 degrees of Capricorn, which uh, after being, you know, right now, Pluto is already in Aquarius. Right now, and I'm talking today, uh, 3rd of February, 2024, Pluto is in Aquarius. Pluto is uh, zero degrees of Aquarius squaring directly Joe Biden's moon. So from now already, from now since and now a week and a half or so, a couple of weeks, Joe Biden is getting a square from Pluto to his moon. That's not an easy uh, aspect. You, um, when Pluto squares the moon, deep emotions that have been repressed may come out in an unexpected, violent way. And he may not be able to hold them back. So that could be uh, interesting. And if he doesn't express it, that could take a toll on his health because his moon is in his sixth house. So expressing emotions is my recommendation to Joe Biden. He could be under a lot of pressure, both on a personal level, maybe also uh, on his job because the sixth house is to do with daily routines and jobs as well. So he could be under some pressure 
um, at home. And he needs to let go of that pressure, let go of those emotions. Don't try to keep them in. Don't try to be uh, always very tough. At least he should have an outlet, if not on a public, uh, at least not, if not in public, at least in private, he should have an outlet for these emotions. Um, there are many ways to let go of these emotions, of course. Um, but that, that I would leave it up to him. Then what is interesting is that uh, on the 5th of November, well, Pluto will be, will have moved back into Capricorn for a couple of months, but still it will be squaring or will have been squaring for many months this moon. And this, the Mars, Mars will be here just moving into Leo, squaring also that moon. So this is where I see a lot of tension with a Pluto opposite Mars, both squaring Joe Biden's moon. Oof, this is intense. This is intense times. So with Pluto Mars, there could be violence. Um, there could be violence. There could be also lots of pressure on his moon, on his emotions. Um, uh, so let's see. Let's see what happens there. But I see a very tense time. I mean, I said it with a Trump's video as well, um, that, that when we're reaching the election, it's going to get really tense with this Mars-Pluto uh, opposition. And especially for Joe Biden, I think it's going to get really tense. Um, we see this tension already happening um, a few months before as well, when... Uh, there we go, about around there, around there, yeah, around the 9th of June, 2024, we see the Mars on Joe Biden's moon, and Mars and Pluto squaring each other, Pluto squaring the moon of Joe Biden, so this is already very intense and 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 this there could be violence here this could be really intense on his emotional level so we already see one episode here and then on the day of the election another and the days before the election already really really tense so let's see what happens there but i suspect it could be difficult um so that for me is more of a challenging aspects to Joe Biden than perhaps uh, what Trump is seeing. So I suspect uh, Biden has it a little bit more difficult here. Now, it depends on him. It depends on what capacity he has to channel these really tense energies in a positive way uh, for him. You know, it's about channeling these energies because he's going to be under pressure now, taking these energies and turning them into something positive, fighting for something, turning them outwards um, and letting that moon express itself. For him, I can tell you already, with the moon in the sixth house, that is difficult. That it's a difficult moon to express. Any planet in the sixth house is hard to express. So he's not used to talking about his emotions He's used to probably repressing them, ignoring them, and uh, putting a lid on them. But this time, it's going to be harder than ever to do that. Um, so that's why I think it's going to be uh, challenging. Um, what else? Now, if we look at his solar return, his current solar return, because there we get another indicator let's look at the solar return uh, there we go there we go now this is his solar return so this is the chart of biden on uh, the 19th of november 23 in washington dc and what do we see well we see uh, mars in scorpio a super strong Mars. I mean, he also has in his chart Mars in Scorpio. Um, so he has a very strong Mars. 
this, when we have strong Mars in our chart, we need to have an outlet. We need to be able to channel that Mars. So it means what we need to be able to fight for something on the outside. We need to either do some martial arts or we need to do some, um, we need to be fighting for something, but we need to be putting that energy outwards somewhere. Because if we don't, it accumulates inside and we can be prone to um, things like uh, inflammatory diseases uh, of some sort. So, But in this um, birthday, the Mars is also in Scorpio. Normally, it could be anywhere else in the chart. I mean, his son is always going to be in Scorpio because he's a Scorpio, right? He's born on the 19th of November. But... Mars could have been anywhere, but in this chart, in this chart, in this year, it's happened to be in Scorpio conjunct the Sun. So this is already saying, hey, this could be an intense year. This could be a tough year. And the ruler, uh, the ascendant is in Leo. So that the ruler of this year is the Sun. So the Sun is ruling this year and the Sun is under the aspect of a very, very strong Mars. So we could see more tension, more violence around, uh, more war around uh, Biden, Biden, and we've seen it. We've seen it that uh, he's going to have to deal with war. With uh, I mean, recently we've seen uh, the U.S. actually today uh, bombing some positions of uh, uh, um, some support to some Iran-backed um, militias of in Syria and Iraq. So the U.S. is more involved in, in war. So it could be that that's what we're going to see through this. But it could be that he's also uh, under some pressure, whether it's uh, on the health um, level or on a mental level, or um, whether he is under uh, some degree of... Um, of a threat or something like that um, of that nature. It's impossible to say how this exactly will play out, but it's these are this is a year where things are tense. Things can be tense. So let's hope that he's able to conduct this tension in a positive way uh, for him. Um, but it's going to be challenging. It's going to be challenging. So. Um, with that said, um, we see here that uh, Joe Biden has it a bit more difficult than uh, Trump when we compare the two. Um, if we want to also look at uh, Trump's, uh, sorry, uh, Biden's um, uh, perfections, uh, he's in his 10th house this year. He's in his 10th house. So this year was going to be about his position, his position in the world. Position in the world is going to be under focus. So we all know that, you know, is he going to be state president or not? Who knows? But also maybe even his uh, political career, maybe that changes. Maybe that is ending. Who knows? So uh, the ruler of the 10th house is Mercury. So it's the 10th house and 12th house in focus this year. So the collective with Mercury here and his career and his position in the world with the 10th house. In terms of um, Fidaria, uh, which we saw with Trump as well, he's in a good time, uh, Joe Biden. He's in a sun, um, he's in a sun Saturn uh, period. So, okay, he's got the sun on his side. Uh, let's see if that is supporting him. He has a nice trying from Jupiter to his son. This is really helpful. And this is one of the things that has made him super successful in his lifetime. Jupiter trining uh, his natal son. But Jupiter this time is going to be under a lot of pressure because the ruler, the moon uh, that rules the eighth house is going to be under massive pressure from Pluto and from Mars. Um, and also from the secondary progression with the moon also there. So the progressed moon and the natal moon both are going to be under a lot of pressure this year. So it's not going to be an easy year for 
Biden. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope uh, this is useful. Um, what is important, like I said, is at the end of the day, is for the person to make the right decisions. Uh, we can have a challenging time, but if we make the right decisions, it can be much easier. So let's hope that uh, Biden works with the planets, transforms, because Pluto squaring the moon asks for transformation at the level of emotions, feelings, unconscious and subconscious. So he's going to have to bring out things that perhaps he has been silent about. Uh, I don't know if that's in the private space or in the public space. Um, could very much will be on the private space with the moon, but he's going to have to transform and change. If he transforms and changes, uh, especially with regards to something, some deep emotional stuff, he could do well, and that could empower him. If he doesn't, things could get more difficult. So let's hope he chooses well for himself and... That's what I wanted to share with you guys. If uh, you enjoyed this uh, video, please give me a like. That helps me a lot um, for my uh, YouTube channel. Also, uh, if you would like to subscribe, I would be very grateful um, as well um, to my channel uh, in YouTube as well. So thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you soon. Stay posted or um, stay tuned I should say, for some new more videos on astrology. Take care. Bye-bye.